All right, today we're going to install the uh, controller for the solar panels and uh, some fuses, and we're going to get that hooked up to the battery and hooked up to the solar panels, and hopefully we get a little bit of charge. So what we have going is we do have our uh, Renergy. It's a 40 amp uh, MPPT charge controller. We have a couple of 40 amp fuses and some fittings and wires that we're going to be using to install. So we're going to put the charge controller right here. I think I'm going to put the fuses up in here. The top one will be for the solar, the bottom one will be for the battery. And uh, we'll start running some wires to them. So let me get those installed and then we'll get a shot afterwards what it looks like. So here is where we are at. We have the controller, which is mounted. And uh, I use the little brackets, so there's two ways to mount it. It's got slots here in the back, so you put some screws, set it in there, and drop it and lock it in place. We use these little brackets that came with it. So I opted for that so I could put some screws on both sides. And then I installed the fuses. I got a 40 amp coming from the solar panels and a 40 amp from the battery. So my uh, positive from the solar panel and positive going into charge controller. So that'll be these down here. I've yet to hook them up. We're getting ready to do that here in just a second. And then uh, same way with the battery. I run my positive right here. So it's gonna connect into this slot and we've got it all tied in to our bus bars. So I think I've made a clean job out of everything. I know where everything is and uh, double checked it. So polarity should be okay. And well, all that's left now is to go ahead and wire these in. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a screwdriver and plug in all my wires, turn my batteries back on, throw the switch for the battery, see if we've got power into the controller and uh, once that's set up, then we'll throw the switch for the solar panels and hopefully we got power coming in. It's still uh, pretty sunny out, so we should see something. So let me go ahead and tie these on and then uh, I'll tune you in when I get ready to throw the switches. All right, so we have all of our wires plugged in. Now we're ready to give it a test. All right. Turning the batteries on. And the battery is on. The vents closed. So I know I got power there. And now we're ready to throw the switch for the battery. Here it goes. And things are lighting up. There we go. So now we Press and hold, okay. And we need to go to lithium, okay. I'm gonna go to 12 volts. And press and hold. All right, so that is working. So we have 13.1 on the batteries. And uh, we've got a little moon shape here showing that the solar panels are not working. So now we're ready to flip the switch for the solar panels and see if we've got power. Here it goes. Oh, it kicked on. So now I've got a little sun, sun shape there. And it's producing 19.8 volts. No amps going in because I think the batteries are pretty much charged. Oh, I take that back. There we go. Here we go. Well, we have something going in. Yep, batteries are 
They're at 13.2. No load. We have no power going out. No load going out. And no error code. Good deal. So let's uh, let's check what our battery monitor is doing up front, and uh, hopefully that's happy. All right, so our battery monitor is flashing, letting us know that a charge is coming in. You can see the up arrows, and uh, batteries are sitting at 13.3. We're also bringing in about 7.3 amps and uh, about 98 watts, sitting at 89% power. And if the sun stayed where it is, it takes about six hours to charge this thing, so everything is working. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. All right, now that the solar is all hooked up and working, and it works great, so I'm, uh, you know, it's the next day, and it is noon, and we're fully charged now from down from 88%. So it uh, charged up in real short order. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now there's uh, one other little task I'd like to get done. So let me show you what that is. All right, so when I built my cabinets for the uh, toilet and the cooler, uh, I built it and installed a couple of these latches here, on one on each side and their tension so you can tighten these up to grip pretty good but as I found because of the weight of the toilet and the weight of the cooler going around corners they still tend to slide open so I installed this little deal here this is a little uh, window screen lock or latch whatever you want to call it and put that on there and that works that works pretty good the only problem is Every time you turn it and open it up, the more you do it, uh, it does tend to get loose and wants to drop down. So we're going to replace that. And we're going to replace that with a couple of little barrel bolts. We'll put one on the cooler and one on the toilet. And where's the other piece? And the other piece will fit here. Obviously, uh, it's too short, so we need to bring it out. So I do have a piece of scrap that will be cutting to fit and mounting that right on here with our little lock just like so. And we'll get that fastened on, put the barrel bolt on, and that will be my remedy for that. So let me let me go ahead and get all that uh, installed. We'll take a look at it and see how work, well it functions and we'll call it good. I'm back. All right, so what I said I was going to get done, I got done. So let's take a look at uh, my handiwork here. All right, so on both of the cabinets, I did install my barrel locks. So there's one, and here's the second one. And I made these little blocks, and I spent a little time on these because these are laminated on the front, edge banded on the sides, and uh, lined up real nice. So. Perfect. And both of them work like they're supposed to. And lock up real tight. So those aren't going anywhere now around the corners and I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Good deal. Cool. So every day just a little bit here and there things are getting done and uh, so we have the solar on and uh, yeah I'm pretty stoked with that and it did charge up 100% and uh, yeah so lots of power and I got the cabinets so where they'll lock the rest of the drawers here on the kitchen and stuff no problem they don't open at all when I'm uh, when I'm traveling I do have uh, no latches on those, just the uh, drawers themselves are self-closing and uh, keeps them in. So I'm guessing it's just the weight of the cooler and the toilet in there that, that uh, kind of push things open. So, all right. I do have a bunch of stuff left to do before it's totally done, but uh, we are in shape that we can travel almost anywhere now. So, 
Thanks for uh, sticking it out and watching the videos and uh, appreciate all the comments and the thumbs up and all that good stuff. And uh, hey, as always, stay tuned.